Are you ready to make your smart forms even smarter? Well, let me show you how with conditional logic. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for conditional logic. So we're gonna cover everything that's on this page, but if you need to deep dive into any one of these sections, be sure to come back to this features landing page for more information. So let's go ahead and jump over to my form. Now for this example, I already have a form pre-made, so let's go ahead and take a quick scroll just to see what we're working with. So we can see that we have a name field, email, we have a request type, and if we do the drop down, we have support, billing, canceling, and upgrading. We also have a support ticket number. We have how did you find out about us, a friend or social media. And then we have two form elements that coincide with that question. So if they choose friend, we want to know which friend sent them to us. And if they chose social media, we want to know where our marketing efforts are working. And then last on this page, we have how did you rate us? Now with this form, I went ahead and broke it up into different pages. And if you would like to do that with your forms over on the left hand side, if I choose add a form element down at the very bottom, we have right down here page break. So on this second page, we have their home address. And then is your billing the same as your home address? If they choose yes, we have that billing address right down here. And then down at the very bottom, we have pretty much taking a total of people. So how many adults, how many children, and then it's going to do the calculations for us to give us that total. Now, before we jump over into conditional logic, I do wanna make one quick edit to two of these fields. So right here, the friend's name and which platform, I don't want these showing on my form. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the properties option and we're going to jump over to advanced and we're going to hide this field. Then the same thing with the platform, we're going to do properties, advanced and hide. Perfect. So you see they've kind of grayed themselves out. So let's go ahead and head up to the very top middle option. We have settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna jump over to conditions. And again, we're gonna go through each one of these and we're gonna see how they interact with our form and how they make things even more exciting and smart. So let's go ahead and choose this very first one, show hide field. So let's do that, how did you hear about us, right? So if how did you hear about us is equal to friend, we're going to show the friend's name. We'll save this. Let's go ahead and add another condition with a show hide. So if how did you hear about us is equal to social media, we are going to show which platform. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's do a quick preview form. So we can see that both of those questions are currently hidden, but if we choose friend, that friend's name pops up. And if we choose social media, the social media options pop up. Pretty cool. All right, let's jump out of preview. Let's go ahead and head back. Now let's use the update field portion. So let's go ahead and say for the billing address, if they choose that their billing address is going to be the same as their home is equal to yes, then we are going to copy multiple field values. So we're gonna copy the home address and we're going to put that in the billing address. Perfect, let's go ahead and save that. Now let's head over to preview form. Let's scroll down to that second page, perfect. Now let's fill out this home address first, perfect. And let's say that yes, it is the same. We can see that it automatically copied that information for us down into the billing address section. All right, let's go ahead and jump out of preview. We'll do another condition. Let's go ahead and do the calculate field. So let's say if how many adults is filled, we're gonna calculate the field value. So let's say how many adults plus how many children, and then the summary, which is going to be the total, we're gonna to put in that total field. Perfect. So let's go ahead and preview the form now. And now we're gonna to head to that very last page. So let's say we have nine adults and you can see without even entering anything in the children's section, it's calculating down in that total section. And let's say we have four children and now we know we have 13 total people. All right, let's go ahead and jump out of preview. We'll add another condition. Now let's do enable, require, or mask field. So let's say 
if they choose the request type is going to be they're needing support, we wanna make sure that we get that support ticket number. So let's require the support ticket number. We'll save. Let's go ahead and pop in a preview form. All right, so we can see right now the ticket number field is not required. There's not a red asterisk by it. So let's go ahead and choose that request type. Let's choose support. And now all of a sudden the support ticket number, because we're submitting a support request, we're going to need that ticket number. All right, let's jump out of preview form. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that one just so we can be jumping around pages and not have to worry about filling out that field. So let's go ahead and add another condition and we can skip to or hide a page because remember we have three different pages as of right now. So let's say if the name field is filled out, then we are going to skip to that very last page. So it's going to skip the addresses and we're gonna go straight to the how many people. So let's preview our form and let's give a name and we'll head down to the bottom and again, Without conditional logic, it's going to take us to address, but because we have that conditional logic in place to skip page two, it's gonna automatically jump us to page three. All right, let's turn off preview form. We'll do that conditional logic again. Now we can change the thank you page. So for this example, we have that one field that's the star rating. So let's say, if how would you rate us is less than, and let's say four, we are going to show a custom message. So now we can edit what that thank you page looks like. So maybe we can ask them to provide us more feedback, right? Reply to this email and let us know how we can do better. Or if you have another form for accepting feedback, we can utilize this redirect to a custom URL and we can send them there. And the same thing, maybe, if it is greater than, let's say seven, we can redirect to our URL. Maybe we want them to leave us a review. It is very, very simple and this works like a charm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to show custom message. Perfect, we are good to go. Let's add another condition. Let's change that email recipient. So let's say if the request type is equal to, let's say canceling their account. We're gonna send the notification email, which is the email that we get as the form builder. We wanna send that to our cancellation department. So let's say we're gonna go ahead and put in cancellation at company.com. Perfect and save. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use conditional logic, make sure you visit that features landing page that I showed in the beginning, but you can also leave us comments down below. Now, if you like this video and you got some value, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time you put out a new video. I'll see you next time.